Look at the scale, the texture, the brilliance of it. I'll come to all of that, the technicality, the performance, the emotion behind it. But first, the stock question. Why Veer Savarkar? Why not Veer Savarkar? In the 80s, there was a movie made on Gandhiji. Subsequently, there have been movies made on Sardar Patel, two of them. And I myself have done Rang Rasya. I played on Raja Ravi Varma. I did Charles Sobraj, Sarabjit. So why not Savarkar? I think that's the big question. I think movies are a great medium of uh, uh, reaching out to people, even internationally. America has done that very well, even recently with Oppenheimer. They have, uh, but in our country, we are shooting down our own icons, which is uh, unbelievable. So my question to everybody is, why not a movie on Savarkar? Brilliantly put. Not just your transformation in terms of physicality, but the emotional landscape of it. You have lived the character. And here is a story that tells us who the man was. Can you please tell us who the man was not? What he was, was brave. And what he wasn't, was a coward. <laughs> what is the first word comes to anybody's mind when you talk about Savarkar in today's dispensation? First word. Mafi Veer. He was not a Mafi Veer. There were petitions, bail pleas they were called, and everybody had a right to... Um, apply to the court and if anybody has been to court they would know how they address the court and the language is very respectful though you might not mean it and um, there were many many people who wrote that if you're sentenced to 50 years of life in Kalapani in a 7 by 11 cell you would not just rest there and think of it as a resort for the next 50 years of your life you will use everything, Sam, Dam, Dandabhed, to get out of there. He felt that he had to contribute a lot to India's freedom struggle, culturally, socially, and uh, he wanted to get out. Dushman ko kiye huye vade nibhaye nahi jate. Crisp and sharp, blunt and sharp at the same time. Please tell me why the man, the veer that he was, his philosophy, his ideology, why he continues to be relevant even in today's day and time? Well, he was a. Uh, he's very relevant today because uh, he looked at uh, India as a civilization, he looked at India as a cultural unit, as um, Akhand Bharat, as he used to say. And India's position in the world today has grown not only because of diplomacy, but because we are armed to the teeth. It's only being armed that there can be peace, otherwise people will keep bullying you. And I think the Indian, uh, um, uh, India as a country today is armed and it's respected in the world and there is peace because we are armed and that was uh, Mr. Savarkar's philosophy and his philosophy on Hindutva was all encompassing ki desh dharam se upar hota hai aur sindhu nadi se sindhu sagar tak jo bhi yahan rehte hain wo isko jo bhi isko apne purvajon ki zameen matlab apne uh, pitrbhu purvajon ki zameen uh, matrbhumi yahan ki sanskriti tyohar khan paan ko apna mante hain wo hindu hain chahe wo kisi bhi dharam jaat ya samaj ke kyun na ho so i think his idea of uniting India as a society, as a country, was the most unifying. And I think that's what we are following today. We are trying to unify the country, where we put, put country before religion. This man has internalized the character to, to another level, to another degree. I think uh, somewhere, um, I read many, many books about him in Hindi, English, and even got my Marathi friends to, you know, kind of 
give me proper translations of their films. I had a great co-writer in Utkarsh, and when we uh, wrote uh, Utkarsh Nethani, and when we wrote it, we wrote it kind of visually um, in our discussions over many, many nights of fighting. And, um, and then uh, uh, once that idea started forming in my head, I was very fortunate to have a great team. The movie is looking great because of Arvind Krishna, who was my cinematographer, and um, uh, Nilesh Vag, who's my production designer, uh, Sachin Lovelaker, who did the costumes, and even my CG VFX team at White Apple. They've been great and sound of Ganesh. So I had a, every time I came across something, like my first day as a director, or first day as a writer, or first day on the edit, or anything, I used to always say, okay, I've never done this before. Please tell me, how is it to be done? So once I learned that very quickly, then I'll be telling them how, how to do it <laughs> very soon. And the background. Uh, and the background, yeah. And background done by Matthias Duplessis and Sandesh Sandalia. I, I wanted a very modern sound to the movie. I always wanted this movie to go across to young people who are who maximum number of percentage of uh, uh, young uh, in India, the young people. And I wanted this, the real uh, Savarkarji to come across to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I tried to make a movie which was modern, young, relatable, and uh, all-encompassing story on, on his life. Uh, it, was, it was a very, very difficult two years for me. I often say that I was in Kalapani for two years, but I'm really happy that um, Swatantra Veer Savarkar is finally releasing from the jails of perception, and the real story will get across to people. In the 1900s, the dashak mein, um, ek movement shuru ho chuka tha. Uh, ek to Savar secret societies ban chuki thi. Savarkar ji was, uh, Veer Savarkar was at the helm of it. Uh, Lok Manya Tilak ji ka unpe haath tha. Aur uh, wo plan kar rahe the. Unho ne guns India smuggle ki thi. Bomb manuals India smuggle kiye the. Aur sab ko chitthi likhi thi ki wo bagawat ke liye tayyar ho jayen. Princely states ko, fawjiyon ko. To 1912 tak unho ये प्लान किया था कि हम इनको इतना इतने कम तादाद में अंग्रेज हैं हमारे देश में कि अगर हमने इनको मारना शुरू किया तो इनको समझ में नहीं आएगा और ये डर के भाग जाएंगे अनफॉर्चूनेटली लोकमान्य तिलक डाइड वीर सावरकर वाज सेंट टू प्रिजन एंड दैट मोमेंटम ऑफ दैट मूवमेंट वाज लॉस्ट एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स द नॉन वायलेंट मूवमेंट स्टार्टेड व्हिच वाज मोर कंडूसिव टू द ब्रिटिश because it was not direct confrontation and it was uh, negotiations that went on for many, many, many years and uh, ultimately they left because they lost, uh, they lost too much money in the First World War and um, they had to leave. But that's, that's the story. We could have got our freedom earlier. But in both cases, I really do enjoy doing biopics. Nonetheless, uh, it gives me an out-of-body experience if uh, anybody gets that. Uh, yeah, and one more like uh, Mahatma Gandhi ji ki assassination ko lekar bhi, you know, evidences hai to how, how has that thing been shown and kitna uska khyal rakha gaya hai ke, you know. Dekhi, is picture mein se, mainne unke upar, unke jitne bhi important aspects jo public life mein unke upar sawal uthte hai, mainne un sab ko address kiya hai. Uh, Bapu's assassination is also a part of the movie, but that is not what we dwell into. सावरकर जी को उससे बाइज़त बरी कर दिया गया था इसलिए नहीं कि सबूत नहीं था इसलिए कि उनका उससे कोई कनेक्शन बना ही नहीं पाए और फिर उनके ऊपर कपूर कमीशन भी बैठी थी उन्होंने भी डाउट दिखाया एंड इन 2018 द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया अपहेल्ड द डिसीजन दैट वाज टेकन इन 1948 49 आफ्टर गां Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.